This is your bedside lamp. Do you think the warm glow would make you feel more sexually experimental? Absolutely. What do you think? I've got the same one at home. Bold, direct. If you're lucky, you hook up, she feels guilty, breaks up with Ben. If you're unlucky, she's furious, ends a friendship. So be sleazy? Yeah. You think that'll work? No. I think even if she goes for it, she'll resent you for getting her to cheat on Ben. She'll break up with him, but she won't go out with you because you're... Sleazy. You know. Option two, be the guy she goes to for advice. The downside is you have to listen to her talk about Ben all the time. The upside is you can slant your advice to slowly turn her against him. So be conniving. Yeah. And that'll work. Maybe, but maybe she'll see through it and think you're... Conniving. Yeah. Option three, patiently wait it out. Eventually, either the distance gets to them and they break up, or it doesn't, and they get married, live a happy life, with you always on the outside looking in, quietly pining indefinitely. So be pathetic. Yeah. That sounds fun. Well, it's got the advantage of not being particularly unethical, but it's got the disadvantage of being... You know, pathetic. Yeah. So your advice is be sleazy, conniving, or pathetic? Well, when you put it that way, it doesn't sound like very good advice. You totally killed my sex nacho high. Please, Mr. Kennedy, up on I don't want to go so show me in the outer space. Oh, please, Mr. Kennedy, up on I don't want to go so show me in the outer space. Hey, where do you live, Al? Uh, Downing Street. Yeah, nice place. It's a dump. Are you a bus driver? Yeah. Do you ever drive one of those accordion buses? <laughs> Articulated. Articulated. Yeah. Accordion. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just drive the regular ones. Did you ever drive a fire truck? No, just uh, buses and cars, and uh, I drove a big truck a few times, but uh, that's it. Are you uh, interested in poetry? Uh, actually, I am, kind of. Getting your writing done? I did a little, yeah. Working on a poem for you. A love poem? Yeah, I guess if it's for you, it's a love poem. It's kind of inspired by our uh, Ohio blue tip matches. Really? Does it mention the little megaphone shape the letters make? Yeah, actually it does. How beautiful. You ever sleep, bro? I used to. Got on the way of work. Are you accusing the CIA of murder, Dan? Because that sounds like where this is going. We have proof the deputy director coached the officer in charge how to cover up what happened. Told him to be careful what he put in writing. So why would they need to cover it up if they were following standard operating procedure? Why didn't they tell the committee? Why didn't they tell you? You know, Dan, a lot of people in this country felt the CIA was justified in doing whatever they had to do to keep us safe. I have friends who lost people that day. And a lot of people watch 24 on Thursday nights and hear Jack Bauer say, I don't want to bypass the Constitution, but these are extraordinary circumstances just before, you know, he sticks a knife in them and makes them give up a plot. It, it doesn't work that way. Well, as Winston Churchill said, 
History is written by the victors. Churchill didn't really say that, Herman Goring did. And what he said was, we will go down in history either as the world's greatest statesman or its worst villains.